Hi, I'm Cynthia Woodman Fougere, and today I'm going to show you how to eat a lobster. First thing you want to do is take the claws off. And the ball and the tail. You've got to take the tail off too. I usually start with the claws. Oh wow. This is a nice juicy lobster. Usually this time of year they're very hard shell, but for some reason I think we got a pretty good one here that's a little softer, which is my favorite. Soft shell lobsters usually start around, um, they start shedding in July, so there's less meat, but the meat is very sweet. And this is the knuckle. This is one of my favorite parts of the lobster. I would say it's the sweetest meat. I think I can even do it without oops, using a um, nutcracker. So this is very, very sweet. This is nice knuckle meat. My great aunt, Annie Mad. She loved lobster. And my brother Dougie would shuck out all the knuckle meat and would make her lobster rolls. And she would be so happy. She worked at the Lobster House, which was our restaurant that is now um, Tom Shay's and she did the recipe for the big stuff lobster. And the village uses that now, that recipe. So now I'm gonna start with the other claw. And it is your preference what you wanna eat first. It's just mine as I always do the claw. Now I'm going to do the other knuckle. Fingers are great to do this with if you can. It's messy but it's delicious. And now I'm going to do the tail. This is probably most everybody's favorite. I'm just pushing it with my hands because it's the easiest way to do. And you just pull it right out. There's some tamale in here, which is the best. And you just pull it apart because there's a little vein here. You want to take the vein out. And it just depends on how big a piece you want to eat. I 
hope this is making everyone hungry for a lobster. It's the best. Now, this is the lobster body, which I see a lot of people throwing away because I don't think they know what to do with it. But to me, it is, it is fun to eat. It's work, but it's fun. So you take the little legs off and you go... Get all that little meat out of them. So once you do all these, I have some running down my chin. Get rid of that. You open it up. And inside is the tamale. Which is delicious. Now in the summertime, when we're shucking at the restaurant and we're shucking a lot, a lot of lobsters, we'll take this tamale and put cottage cheese in it and Frank's hot sauce and it makes the most unbelievable dip in the world. It is so good. So in here you have all little pieces that is full of meat. It is so sweet. I'm so tasty. It's a little work, but it's well worth it. Now, when I was in grammar school, my grandfather, across the street from here, he used to put sand, and he made a beach for us all to swim in. We called it Woodman's Beach, and everyone in town came, came and swam in the summer. There weren't the, the boats or anything in the river like there, there are now. But he just made it so we uh, could all swim all summer long. And then in the summer, I'd come across the street and grab three lobster bodies and go over there and sit. And then I'd pick at them, that would be my lunch. And it was just unbelievable. I say it's work, but it's well, well worth it. And that's how you eat a lobster. There's some more tamale in here. I'm going to grab that too, because it's really, really, really good. So don't ever, ever throw the body away. It's one of the best parts of the lobster. Or if you have a bunch of them, you can put the lobster bodies in cheesecloth and cook them down, and that's your base for lobster bisque. I mean, look at that meat. You can't get any better than that. I hope this helped you to show you the way to eat a lobster. Enjoy.